Well, I'm off to visit the Oregon Zoo. We're gonna take a look at some of the construction and I'm gonna do a lot of photography. Let's take a look at some of the construction they're doing. They've completely torn up the bears uh, location where the polar bears and the sun bears and all those other bears were. So let's take a look. So that's where the polar bears used to be and the elephants to some extent. Gonna do with this. I'm mostly uh, doing this video as kind of a baseline. So we can come and visit and see what's changed and what's going on over here. Just so we can watch the construction as it's happening. We'll go hit the primates. I wish I could get a better view of them from here, but there's trees in the way. So right now we're just looking at the old bears area. Hopefully we can uh, soon see what's going in here, what they're changing it to, what changes they're making. Headed over to visit the new tigers. Hopefully they're out and about. We'll get to see them today, get some good pictures. There's the tiger pen, paddock, whatever they're called. Let's see if we can uh, find them. Looks like the answer is no for now. I think I found them. In the worst possible place. Uh, well, for, for viewing anyway, for them. It's nice and warm and sunny. They're definitely just big cats. Red pandas, coming soon. Merry-go-round. I can kind of see how that fits into a zoo theme. These little displays, everyone got a kick out of them. These, uh, where it's like an animal, but they're treating it, it's a tractor, but they're treating it like an animal. You can look through here. You can't actually see one, but it's a fun plan, fun idea. Gonna go look at the condors. Um, oh, and they don't even have the condors out. That's disappointing. They always say they're having carcass feeding and sometimes you see a carcass. But the birds are never eating. Okay, we're headed over to check out the primates and the construction over there. And maybe get an elephant here. Here's another one of those funny tractor pictures. Actually really glad they're updating the primate exhibits because they were looking kind of old and if they kept it that way for too much longer, they might have to protest the conditions the monkeys are living in. Well, maybe not really, but it wasn't good. It wasn't a great condition that it was all in. So we'll just take a look at what's going on here. This is the bear area again. So, I guess we're just looking at cars. Since we're here, let's go say hi to the elephants. Let's take a look at some big cats that are usually actually sitting out and are readily visible. Hello little guy. Red rough lemur. You're hiding. Oh you're eating. You took the food. I see what you did there. Yeah, look. There's the other lemur. Such a little kitty.
Well, the chameleon has actually moved for once. I guess we're heading into the African savanna. And first we got another stop at construction updates. You can see the orange mesh already. Do they love you? Let's see what kind of construction we got going on here. I think we're moving. We move the hippos out and we're expanding, expanding the rhino uh, pen. Looks like they filled in the water pit for the hippos. Hippos never did anything too interesting anyway every time I visited before. But since I've been coming every day, or every week, I've noticed a lot more animals being a lot more active. Some of them are just more active than others on certain days. I still have the hippo noises. Just to scare the kids. It scared me when I was a kid. Okay, let's go visit my favorite word at the zoo. Let's see, oh, and he's sitting there. Let's visit the Bontebok. See, it's the Bontebok. And there he is. I really should have brought my other camera. I can get some more close-up shots of some of these animals. But I just decided to take my phone today and travel light. Here's another angle of the Bontebok. No giraffes out here. Oh, there's a hidden Bontebok on the left. Here he is, grazing on some dandelions or something. These guys are tall. And boring. Hey giraffe, you should come over here. Get closer, it'll be fun. This video isn't meant to be educational at all. I just like seeing the animals. I like recording the animals. And I thought it would be fun to track the progress of construction. So, I'm just doing this for fun. And this is a wild class of elementary schoolers with their chaperones. That seemed to be almost at a one-to-one -one ratio. It's funny with these uh, field trips going on, you go like, 10 feet away and there's no one there. Just an empty zoo. But 10 feet that way, and it's just crowded and crazy and loud. This exhibit drives me batty. Well, that's one way to do it. So, there's something I discovered when I was at 
Disneyland this, well, previous summer from now, is that parks like this and like Disneyland things that are attractions are best enjoyed kind of as parks. So it's a place to spend the day. And if you're stressing and running around trying to see everything, you're not going to enjoy it. And I think that goes for these too. So some of the best times I've had here were just sitting 20 minutes watching the eagles or the giraffes. Depends on what mood I'm in or what I wanna see. Just watching these animals, not necessarily in their natural habitat, but just seeing them, being around them. It's like having an exotic cat. They, they won't let you touch. But just if you're ever in a park, just take your time, enjoy it. The best time I had at Disneyland was probably on Tom Sawyer's Island, where we just kind of walked, explored, got lost. We actually lost my stepdaughter, but we didn't care because it was an island and where are they gonna go? And Disney's pretty much got everything covered and secured, so we didn't feel that much danger, so it was nice. So, just take your time. I didn't learn this about Disneyland until like the fourth day. We had plenty of time to do everything. We didn't need to try and cram everything into one day or two days. And we could have just, I think we would have had a better time just enjoying the park as a park. This is some construction I'm very curious about, what they're doing here. I never liked the idea of this sand hole, sand pit for kids to play in, but to each their own. And then I noticed there's some damage to the actual railing and floor up there. Well, this was my quick trip to the zoo. I do enjoy this. I've been coming here almost every week and I have still yet to see the bobcat. Let's see if there's a bobcat. Ooh, there's a box. Good chance the bobcat is in a box. Cats like boxes. No bobcat in the box. Okay. I'm not gonna smell that. Well, that's it for my zoo visit today. Might see another goat, I don't know. We'll see. Where is the goat? There's a goat, we'll take a look at the goat first. Y'all never stop me.